Coaches Hall of Fame. We, uh, each year we try to uh, honor three to five coaches. This year we have five coaches. And each of the coaches have to achieve uh, levels of excellence that are quite substantial. Uh, Olympians, world record holders, and uh, of course, you know, 20 years or more in the sport, and uh, so on and so forth. So the standard and criteria is quite high. If you're curious to know who is currently in, uh, the ASCA Hall of Fame is on the website, and we would encourage you to take a look at that. And if you have uh, friends or former coaches or folks that you know that are not in yet, that you believe deserve to be in, please let me know. We're, we're working hard to try to get as many of uh, the older coaches in first, and then from there, of course, we're just sort of moving uh, through our list that we have. And we've had a lot of great people help us in this. Uh, coach, uh, Jim Tierney, uh, Jennifer Gibson, um, Dick Hanula, um, and of course I, I keep calling on a lot of coaches to try to help me with this because there's, there's so many great older coaches that uh, need to be uh, honored and uh, maybe in this case have not yet. So if you know someone, please let us know. Okay, so uh, the American Swimming Coaches Hall of Fame is probably the highest honor that any coach can achieve in, uh, by being recognized by their association. And this association is, is, to me, is the association that sort of is for coaches. It's the one organization that has only really one purpose, and that's to help you. To help you help your athletes so that you can become better for your athletes. And so uh, this is quite an honor for all of us to be able to participate in this. And I hope you'll join me in really having a fun evening by recognizing our coaches this evening. And let's have some, some good times with them and uh, have, have an enjoyable evening doing that. Tonight we have uh, five inductees. Our first inductee is Coach Jack Farley from the University of Georgia. Jack says, being mentioned in a group of coaches such as this is quite a humbling and wonderful honor. Uh, and a couple of the memorable moments thus far in Jack's experience as uh, when he won his first women's NCAAs and on the final night he looked up into the stands and he saw some of the greats that he really uh, has looked to in, in Vince Stooley, Coach Vince Stooley, Coach McGill who's the winningest tennis coach in the history, uh, who his son is named after. And then, of course, uh, Coach Schober, who has uh, provided a great shadow for him throughout his life, and his mother. Another of uh, Coach Bowerly's memorable moments were uh, it, it's a great honor he believes that any coach can have is to become the USA Olympic coach, and he was selected and chosen as the 2008 USA Olympic coach. Please join me in welcoming Coach Jack Bowerly. standing there in front of me and talking butterfly and I swam in front of him the rest of the summer. I want to thank Don Sonia who was the coach for me at Philadelphia Aquatic Club and was just crazy enough to keep me in the sport because I loved every sport more than I loved swimming and he had such a strong personality that he kept me in it. And uh, wouldn't be sitting here without a lot of other people and certainly the opportunity that Coach Julie gave me at the University of Georgia 32 years ago. Uh, for $8,000 a year, and he thought I was way overpaid. <laughs> Actually, the first couple of years, he was probably right. <laughs> but, uh, at any rate, uh, you know, the times you share with coaches are very special, uh, but I know I wouldn't have been sitting here, and I tell them every week that we speak on the telephone, uh, certainly without Coach Schulberg, Dick, nothing, none of this would have happened to me and also my family and to my school, so I'm forever thankful for wherever you are, I know you're in that direction somewhere. And we spent two great summers together, and I know he paid me throughout his, his pocket, and, uh, but then we had a great time. We trained a little bit on Saturday, trained a lot more on Sunday, never a day off, but he sort of taught me a little bit about what international swimming was about. I can't be, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Eddie Reese, who's a, an expert on my program. 
And, uh, <laughs> and uh, after every Zoom meet, when I get a call about 11 o'clock, he forgets about the time zones, obviously. He told me what I could have done a little bit better in each meet, you know, I should have swum more. And, uh, and certainly John Urbanchek, who I call to this day, uh, about workouts, who I think is the workout moisture of all time. I just, uh, John has changed our program, University of Georgia, for the best, for the better, I guess, and, uh, and I'm going to be missing a few people here. Certainly, Frank Bush has always been a great friend. <clears throat> so good that he's not here tonight. And, uh, <laughs> so, I don't know if he had to do a bridge club or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, but any, any rate, uh, it is a proud moment for me, and it's, uh, it's sort of a surprising one, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's humbling, and it's uh, real humbling to be going in here with the names that have been already in the Hall of Fame, but also with the, the people that are going in tonight. Uh, I feel like I'm in great company, and uh, I can't thank you enough. It's been an absolute pleasure to be in this sport, and the type of people that we're involved in, or with, every day in, day out, makes life pretty darn special. Thanks very much.